Good morning, everybody. So let's start off by looking at the Aussie. Um, so yesterday was kind of a difficult day for me to trade on the Aussie. There wasn't really any clear direction, and we were kind of stuck between two levels. So um, nothing more than a little scalp. So we are moving away from the weekly key jinsen. As you can see here, let's just make that red. Okay, so we are moving away from the weekly key jinsen. The next level is obviously last week's high, and the level after that will be the high of this week here. Okay, on the weekly, there's nothing really else. Um, yeah, this trend line has broken, so we all familiar with that so that trend line has been broken okay so let's just have a look at the daily so what you see here and I pointed this out yesterday is that we have this rather large uh, range that we're in at the moment now the daily has given us four Ichimoku signals at the moment okay so the first one was this crossover, the second one was this break of um, Siku Span, okay, uh, third one was the twist, and the fourth one now is that we've closed outside the cloud. So we've basically broken through the cloud. So the next level to take out is obviously this um, this level here, top of uh, which is a flat cloud, and I think we just need to break it down a little bit to see exactly what's going on and I just want to add another level in here on this day's tail to the bottom okay so let's just get to the four hour make sure there's nothing else that we need to worry about here okay um, that gap is closed I know it closed on futures as well so that's closed and there is one more level up there, so this swing low here is a level that may come into play today. Let's just see how much, how many points it is, 700, okay, so that's fine. Right, so um, I'm not really even going to bother with the, the points to the downside. The momentum is to the upside at the moment, and we should just be playing for the longs. Okay, so this is definitely turning out to be a flat top triangle and this range, you can see how we are creating higher lows within the range. So next step is to break this level here, which then breaks the range. Once we've broken there, we've got those two levels there to go to. Okay, and you can see where I've got them from. It's that tail there and then that swing low the middle here so those two levels are quite simple it's this long tail and then the next one is the swing low here you can see it there okay so those are the two levels to the upside uh, what I'll be looking for is an entry to on to basically any pullback And at this stage, we are sitting at 51700, so we are roughly 150 points above, which is kind of normal for for IG. If we just do this. Yeah, so we're basically sitting on this level at the moment. So just be careful on um, at the open, because what typically happens is we'll hit a level like this, and then we'll bounce back, uh, like we did. Uh, it's yesterday morning you can see how we ran to this level and then turned immediately and came back okay um, so yes I'm looking for any pullback and it's going to be difficult to gauge where that pullback may be it may just be at the gap close here or let's just have a look at the 15 and that'll give us a so definitely around this here probably the only area that we can look for a gap close. So we can get a, a bullish pattern forming in this area here at 51400, 440, then uh, it'll be a great area to get in long. 
um, stop loss is going to be yeah you can have a 250 pip stop loss uh, it'll be below this previous uh, swing low here okay um, and then the last thing is just want to come back to the daily here no like I thought we had a, a range bar here but we don't so that's fine so there you go guys, um, that's it, looking for longs, um, looking for a pullback and what we can just do though is just double check what the, so this range is going to be from there to there and move that second, ah there you go, so that's range by target, so between there, in that zone is going to be the target. Okay, so let's just recap, so we're aiming for there. And we're looking to get in uh, somewhere around there. So it's going to depend on what price action does at uh, 9 o'clock. Anyway, guys, that's the Aussie. Hope it helps, and I'll catch you later.